For the grim task of searching for missing mudslide victims already now in its seventh day and workers are clearing catch basins ahead of more potential rainfall. KTLA 5's John Finolio is live in Montecito where crews have been digging all day. Hi John. Hi John. Hey, good evening everyone. Well, almost a week after torrential rains and devastating mudslides pummeled Montecito, the painstaking cleanup continues, but this process is taking much longer than expected. The level of devastation is simply staggering. The home you see behind me, just one of 65 that was destroyed when a wall of mud and boulders tore through it like paper. As the rescue mission turns to one of recovery, a spot of good news. 53-year-old John Keating found alive and safe in Ventura. Officials now saying they don't believe he was in Montecito during last week's deadly mudslides. As we're slowing down as far as our search goes, we're taking a methodical approach now and going into these areas and, and scraping away debris and getting to areas where hopefully we can still find someone, but the, the process is uh, to slow the process down so we're much more safer on the incident. We're just off Olive Mill Road, the primary path of this mudslide. These are steps to a home that was wiped from its foundation when boulders like these, the size of vehicles, were swept from the hillside above when the rain came falling last Tuesday, destroying everything in their path and claiming the lives of 20 people. Hampered by blocked roads, down trees and power lines, rescuers continue to search for three people. 28-year-old Fabiola Benitez Calderon, 17-year-old John Canton, and 2-year-old Lydia Sedutape. This is Montecito Creek. It's about 30 feet deep right now with just a trickle of water in it. But Tuesday night when the rain came, it brought with it a torrent of water, mud, and logs. Swelled, overwhelmed. The wall of mud so destructive because of just how big it was, standing almost two stories high. Ramon Barragan lives in a home that was spared by the mudslide. Several of his neighbors did not survive. Right now I'm okay, but the first two days, I couldn't talk myself. You know, I was just tears on my eyes to see uh, how Mother Nature so strong, so devastating. And back here live again, 20 confirmed dead, three still missing. The cleanup also continues on US 101. Caltrans says that the highway will be closed for at least another week. Reporting live in Montecito, I'm John Finolio, and I'll send it back to you. All right, John, we thank you for that. A troubling.